and start off by, and you guys probably already have most of this, start off by just loosening them up, getting them to the, the uh, channels all the way back to the center. You work opposite of yourself and not try and do like this or like this it's very helpful it makes it a lot easier kind of equally spread with the hands i always start from my right i think it works a whole lot easier grab your short bits make sure your channels are pushed in enough to grab it right there. I mean, I'm literally, you can see, I'm literally under the edge of it. Yeah. It's fine. Now here's the key. You got to start this one square. If you start it diagonal, you're going to wind up like that. And and then you can bust the screen. You're going to get better tension if you start it here, keep it tight at the other end. That'll let you know how square you have it. And then now I'm squared up with the other end of the frame. And then I'm going to hold tension to it as I drop it down. And with these, you'll hear that little click. You know they're in the place. I'm done with straight, I'm done with my mesh at this point. Looks best just to get it out of the way. Use the end of the frame of your uh, scissor guide, and you'll keep a nice straight edge with it. Now, again, working opposites is always best. Push down, roll, snap in place. Grab this in. And grab the center of it so you can start off with a little bit of tension. Making it easy. Mm -hmm. All right, now to tighten up. Now here's a key thing to note: when you're doing, when you're, when you're stretching the frame, these are aluminum channels and these are aluminum D bars. And when you go to tighten them up, you probably already know this. If I put a ton of tension in the center, mm -hmm. should bow that thing, and that's not a bad thing. Okay, centers are where all your tension, 90% of your tension, is coming from. The corners are just guides. And if you've ever busted a screen head, I guarantee you, you busted it in the corner, you didn't bust it in the center, and you're always gonna do that. Always start with your centers, and don't always try and grab all the tension at once. Work your way around it twice, maybe three times. Start off on the center. When I tighten it, you're gonna see a gap right here. Center. See when I start stretching it, how you create the gap? I'm just gonna make a visual gap. You can get the same distance on this center. Yep. I'm just doing all centers to start off with, okay? Higher in the center, just by a millimeter or so, than on the edges. Because see how close these two screws are? Yep. If I put the same amount of tension, it's going here or it's going here, okay? And Here's the crazy thing. If you're right-handed, it's going to be this corner or this corner. And if you're left-handed, it's going to be this corner or this corner. Is I'm going to catch these up, but, but just a little bit less. And again, try to work your short sides first, and then work your long sides. And the reason being is, when you go to screen print this thing, The way the squeegee is going to go is going to go this direction. So this tension is more important than that tension. Now, it's good to have both, no doubt. 